dude, my senior year, we got the new coach. coach oh, yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. hear about this? No. You didn't. Okay, so we got a brand new coach my senior year. Yeah. JP left. Yeah. And Shocker. started, yeah, right. Started over brand new. He came in. We were we weren't terrible. I think we ended the year like five hundred. Mm -hmm. Midway through the season, he just stopped showing up to practice. What? That's stop worse. Show, stop, That's way stop worse. Stop showing up to practice. Senior year. Yeah. We like no idea. Like didn't the school didn't know what happened. Uh, like literally just completely started disappearing. Ghosting. Literally ghosting. And apparently, like his he had an excuse like months later that his like sister had like some sort of like medical issue or uh, like schizophrenia or, or multiple oh. personality disorder. Yeah. Um, and like she had like ran away. Some like really like so absurd of a story that it like it's almost like maybe you either have to be making that up <laughs> or is that so absurd that it's so true. true. Yeah. But then turns out he doesn't even have a sister. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bird Watching Podcast, where we ask chicks questions to get answers for you guys. Not today, though. Not today. A couple, couple episodes left in the dude season. Got my boy Josh Neeson in the house. What is up? What is up? Thanks for having me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> How you been? I've been good, dude. It's been a it's been a minute since we last hang on, hung out together. Yeah, for real. I think the last time I saw you, I came over for that. San Francisco football game on like yeah, a Thursday yeah, night. A but before ago. that, before that, it was been two years. Probably, honestly. which is crazy. Maybe not that maybe, long. Maybe, maybe once or twice in between. Yeah, that one time at Josh's house, Peterson's. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that was, but New Year's maybe we were playing boot <laughs> hockey, something like that. Yeah, that was a while ago. Some sort of festivity. So what happens when we go to college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've grown apart. <laughs> All right. First thing we always do on the show. Start with a rooster review. All right. Try to beverage. Give it a rating. Yeah. Make sure to give a decimal because no decimals is rookie scores. Exactly. We'll be giving a one to ten. All right. Today we're trying out these monsters. We got Fosters, baby. It's a big ass. It's the Austra Australia's famous beer brand. How many ounces are these? 24, I think. Mm. There you go. All right. Cracker open. Get that, get that sound check in there. Dude, is it? Oh. It was full in there. Mine was tough. <laughs> was your tough? A little bit. <laughs> All right. All right. A sniff test? Yeah, a quick little whiff. Taste smells like beer. Smells like beer. Yeah, yeah, it smells like beer. <laughs> there we go. Dock it. Knock it. And dock it. Ooh, wow. Ooh. A little spillage. A little spillage. Yeah, um, it just tastes like... I'm trying to think of what it tastes like. Like Coors Light? Yeah. But like... Pretty watery. Yeah, not it's, lie. it's very chill. Yeah, it's good though. I like it. I need to go for another one. I feel like I'm sipping out of a Gatorade bottle though, <laughs> like one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like it. You got a rating for it? Ah, uh, wow. I definitely have had better beers. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Um, probably six three. Mm. Yeah. Pretty average. Yeah, it's pretty average. There's nothing um, like blowing my mind about it. Would I drink it just because it's the only thing available? 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> probably wouldn't just go to the store and buy some Fosters. But, I don't think uh, so. Except these were like two bucks a piece. That changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> I would go. Really I would good. go grab that. <laughs> we give it an 8.9. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm going to go like... I like light beer. I'm gonna say like seven point one. Oh, okay. I think it's kind of yeah, good. No, that's that's good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. I like the can a lot too. I've never seen a, a, a beer giant, can like this. Yeah, I mean it fills fills my hand. It's yeah, like two it's for like... me. <laughs> 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 All right. Girthy. First game we're gonna play Mount Rushmore. Oh. The edition we're gonna play today is TV Dads. TV Dads. And we're gonna dads. stay around like wholesome TV Dads. Yes. Not like our because like if you went favorite TV Dads, you could go like. Peter Griffin, exactly. Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson, yeah. But I'm thinking, I got a couple in mind. Yes. Now we're going to go draft order. Oh, yes. And okay. you're going to go first. Okay. So you get the first pick. Deal. And then we'll go, not snake, we'll just go alternate. Alternate, okay. Yeah. All right. With my, uh, <laughs> no further ado here. Yeah. Uh, with my first pick, I'm going 
Danny Tanner. Oh, from yeah. Full House. Yeah, that's a great pick. Immediately, he was my number two. You look yeah, I just finished me. watching Full House again for like the third time. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's but that, it was it was like a sleeper show though. So I was like sleeping through probably like two seasons at least. That's that's very fair. Yeah, just fall asleep at night with it. But that's Danny, fantastic. Did you ever watch the uh, Fuller House? I did. I never got that. You never got no, there? I never got it that. It was good. It was fun. But it's like, it felt more like a modern sitcom, if that makes it sense. It wasn't the same. It wasn't the same, yeah. no. Full House had a, a certain pizzazz to it. I think they tried to capture like the same feeling. But it just, it just didn't, didn't hit it as it. hard. Yeah. But it was still good. It was fun. Yeah. It yeah. was right after I'd finished Full House. And then I think it was during COVID, actually, or something. Oh, yes. No, yeah, that's right. Was it? When it came out. Yeah, I think something so. Like that? Yeah. I, but I think I finished it. So maybe it was a little after COVID because I watched all of Full House. And then I was like, oh, I'll just. Watch Go the next right one. Yep. House, right? yep. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. 100%. All right. With my first pick in the draft, the second pick overall, I'm going to take Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. From Fresh Prince. Yeah. That's a good one. He was the man. A very good one. Do you remember that scene where Will is like, his dad kind of like uh, bails out on him again? He I like, would be completely honest with you. Never seen Fresh Prince. <laughs> never seen Fresh Prince. No way. No. Dude. I'm not. It's a great show. There's a there's an episode in it where so it's about this kid who comes from no like, I, I mean I know, you know the, the premise. premise of it yeah, yes, yeah. exactly yeah. so he goes and lives in this house in Bel Air and yep. then his dad comes and visits him mm-hmm. like later on in the show I yep. think yep. but his dad is kind of like a you know kind of a doofus it is what it is. he d- yeah. dips out all the time yeah and he dips out on him again and he has like this emotional breakdown and then Phil kind of like shows gets, his his dad colors you know uh-huh. like just a stud right so I'm gonna go Uncle Phil Uncle Phil. Who do you well, got for uh, your number two, third pick in the draft? Number two. This is uh, throwing it back to way before our time. Way before but our I watched, time. But I watched it a lot. I grew up watching it. Okay. Andy oh. Taylor from the Andy Griffith Show. Oh, yeah. Andy Absolute Griffith Show. fantastic dad. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Great yeah. show. Oh, yeah. Great Good old show. Andy Griffith. Raising yeah. his son all by himself. Yeah. You know? The man. Oh, Did yeah. his wife die in that show? Was that the premise? I, actually, I don't even know. Let's look it up. I don't know why he did Andy Griffith's wife die. <laughs> what well, what's going on here? That's Light a good question. Up. Did Andy oops Gr- Griffith's wife, wife die, die in the yeah. show? She did die. Andy lost his wife when Opie was the least little speck of a baby. Was that like actually an episode when like I think mom it was died? the f- or in the first like- episode of the show Andy has a maid who's getting married and moving away. Oh, I don't know how that's relevant, but <laughs> 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 Andy is a widower and a oh, good to know. Oh, um, yeah. What's your name? Uh, on <laughs> uh, um, May? May? No. On. Who's the maid in Andy on. Griffith? It's show. Rose Pine. Mm. May have spent. Little time on screen on the end of the show, but Opie sure loved her. She was one of the first characters ever seen on the show and appears in the early scenes of the series premiere, The New Housekeeper. Aunt B. Aunt B, there, that's what I was thinking of. Aunt B. Aunt B, of course, would be Sheriff yeah. Andy's new housekeeper. Right, yeah, yeah. So Rose Pine was the first one. Gotcha. gotcha. Now we're all clicking. Yeah, now we're this. clicking, baby. But yeah, Andy Griffith, fantastic. Guy. All right, so because you took Danny Tanner, um, I'm going to have to go to my third pick, and I'm going to pick Julius Rock. Oh, you know yes, this? yes. Everybody yes, hates do. Chris. Yep. Oh, yeah. He was oh, a yeah. stud. Very good one. So far, I've picked two black deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a theme going here? And I picked two white deaths. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. That's uh, funny. I would have t- picked Danny Tanner at two, but we'll see how it plays fair. out. I got we'll a couple. See. I got I got a couple of both still. I got okay. a couple white dads and a couple black dads still. So I will. I could potentially honest. take all black dads here. I have none. You have no black yeah, dads. <laughs> Is that bad? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do just fine. <laughs> All right, you got your next pick? Uh, yes. I am going with Mike Baxter from Last Man Standing. Standing. Oh, yeah. Tim Allen. Great dad. Tim Allen. Yeah, I feel great like dad. Tim Allen is like the classic. Do you think dad. of a dad like in a TV show? It's like Tim Allen. That's funny. I didn't. Uh, I would have pulled him. Like if I would have thought of it, I would have pulled him from Home Improvement. Oh well, yeah, that, that was before. But he was also yeah. a great dad in Last Man Standing yes, too. I'm very good dad. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Tim Allen. Tim Allen. If you're watching right now, what's <laughs> up, man? <laughs> Crazy. Come to the podcast. All right, we got a white dad. I'm gonna go Phil Dunphy from Modern Family. 
Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's a classic. Yeah, he's 100%. a great dad. He's got so many good one-liners in that show. He does. And he's a good dad. He like, is. wholesome. He does, he does a good job. He cares. Yeah, a little he bit. Cares. Yeah. He cares. <laughs> no, he cares. <laughs> what's, his, what, what's a Phil Dunphy quote that TGIF? Or no, 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 no. WTF, why the face? Why the face. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. WTF, why the face? Why the face? So good. Great one. All right, who's your next dad? I am going with probably one you probably wouldn't have picked, but uh, Ned Stark from Game of Thrones. Oh. Have you seen Game of Thrones? Yeah, I have. Yeah, 100%. Ned Stark is... The King oh, okay. of the North. Eddard Stark? Eddard Stark, Same yeah. guy? Ned Stark, yeah. He dies... Oh. No, that's why well, it's, well, it's, it's been, been out, out yeah. for a while. He does see, end of season one. Yeah. Thrones, exactly. That was but a no, bit heartbreaking when it happened. Hundred percent. Well, he the reason why he's so good was he like just cared about his family, and yep. then he died. Like his wife thought he protected Jon Snow. Jon Snow was obviously he's not his own kid, but right. he his wife thought that he had him through cheating on her. Right. And so she was like always mad at him, and he kept the secret for because it was actually his his nephew. So. Yep. Crazy. Yeah. Edward Stark. Stark. Why exactly. does he die again? Why did they behead him? Uh he was like threatening the Atlantis or I guess Joffrey Baratheon. Oh, yeah. And he was like, But we didn't know Joffrey take... yet, did we? No, we did. He oh, did. we did. He did. And then Joffrey was I mean the Lannisters controlled Joffrey. Yep. Because that was Cersei's and The uh, Lannisters. I gotta watch that show again. It's dude, actually such a good show. Absolute banger. It's just such a commitment to do it again. I mean it's seven seasons, yeah. Seven it's seasons, each episode's an hour, an and they're hour, like sixteen episodes exactly, a season. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's, it's a, a long grind, show. but it's worth it. hundred percent. I was grinding it out for probably first time I watched it, it was probably three months. It took me to watch it all the way through. Oh yeah. Well, when I first when I first watched it, it wasn't too long ago, like last last year. Same. Banged it out in like Probably two weeks. Uh, yeah, I, I watched really? two or three episodes a night. Oh yeah, I was like, too. I was too. I was grinding. The the weird thing that I did though was I got to season season eight. Is yeah. that the last season? Uh, season seven? eight, right? Seven. Seven. I thought it was seven. Uh, Could be wrong. Maybe it was seven. Yeah. Game of Thrones seasons. I'm locking it in. It's seven. eight. So in, in season eight, there's like eight episodes. Yeah, and then. Everything kind of starts falling apart like episode four or five. Right. I think I got to episode three and waited an entire month to finish the show. Really? Yeah, because I, I just, everybody was talking like, oh, the ending's so bad. Well, the did ending, you like the ending? I didn't hate the ending, but I was built up to hate it. So it was like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I was That's expecting. true. So I had very low expectations. Expectations that only exceeded up. <clears throat> so I almost came out like devil's advocate. Like, it was good. I, yeah. I liked it. I know? actually enjoyed the ending. Did you? I thought it was fantastic. I mean, I th not fantastic, but I thought it was like... Would you decent it for all characters? Would you have changed the ending if you could? Um, maybe. Would you? But have I mean, Jon Snow wanted to go to the wall, so might as well let him go. Go to the wall. Um, maybe like what's her name, Daenerys, or what's yes, her? yeah, Daener yeah, yeah, Daenerys, Daenerys, yeah. Would you have had her live? She was no, getting, she I, was getting... I, I did not. I did. I mean, I. Gorgeous, but Smoke like <laughs> uh, she, she needed to die. Like yeah. I did not. She was losing. Control. I did not like her at the end. There. Yeah, no. Exactly. I just thought it was such an abrupt change of pace that she went from like everybody's favorite to like to everyone like, hated. Yeah, that that is that true. 100%. They just it felt like they sped it up. Like if they would have gradually made her more unlike throughout eight, season eight, but and then like had a snap, and then everyone's yeah. like she just like lost yeah. control like yep. that. It was like episode three to four. She was just like, oh, everybody still loves her, and then season four or episode four, everybody's like. Oh, she's the worst. Yeah. Like, Why is what? she the worst now? Yeah, that was a quick turnaround. <laughs> I, I would have liked it if it went season nine and then she, the same thing happened in season nine, but you had an entire season eight of like building up to not liking her. That, that probably would have been, yeah. Right. I like that. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I took Phil Dunphy. Somehow we were talking about Game of Thrones, but yes. who's your next pick? Um, Wasn't that my... Four? Yeah, no. one more. Didn't I do... I got Uncle Phil, Julius Rock, Phil Dunphy... You have Danny Tanner, Andy Taylor, and Ed no, Stark. Andy, Danny Tanner, Andy Taylor, yep. Mike Baxter, Last Man Standing, oh, Tim yeah. Allen, and then Ned Stark. Oh, yeah. So that was your last one. I was like, my yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. All right. My last pick then, I'm going to go with. Hmm. I have two. I have two honorable oh, mentions, oh, oh, oh. and I don't know who to pick. I'm going to go Bob Belcher. Bob Belcher. There you go. From Bob's Burgers. Yeah. He's a stud. I love that show. He is a good dad, he cares about his family. Mm -hmm. Again, I've never seen that one. Have Sorry. you not? No, I've not. Oh my gosh! Dude. Okay, 
Out of Bob's Burgers or Fresh Prince, I would say you have to watch Fresh Prince. Well, I mean, that's more, yeah, yeah classic. More, more of a classic, yeah. for sure. But Bob's is good, dude. Is it? It's really good. It's very funny. Is it like Family Guy or like those other... No, it's more like... Animated ones? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. It feels more like a... I would say it's closer to like a Jimmy Neutron almost really? than it is like a Family Guy. Okay. Because it's not very dirty. It's not like dirty at all. Oh, no, at all. No, no not really. The first season is a little like like that. A little bit. And then yeah. They kinda and then they kind of like off. realized that a majority of their fan base was like There's kids, like I younger think. younger people. So then they cleaned it up a lot, but it's still very, very humorous. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Is it on anything right now? Hulu? Hulu has my... I think Bob's is on Hulu. Hulu has live sports. Hulu has live sports and Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Stream where? It is on Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. Ah, uh, there you go. Uh, ESPN has live sports? Probably. Probably. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that was um, that was Mount Rushmore for TV dads. Yeah. Let us know in the comments who you think won, who had better dads. I mean, obviously it was me. Let but know. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I left one off the list that I kind of wanted to mention. Go for it. I got one too, then I'll talk about mine. Bill. Belichick? Cosby? No, just kidding. Bill Cosby? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like that. <laughs> there you go. I, I was, was, the, the, I was gonna say Carl Winslow from Family Matters. Oh, he was a stud. Have you seen that show? Family Matters? No, I haven't. <laughs> That's with uh, Steve Urkel. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah. He was the dad. So S Steve Urkel was the neighbor, but yep. he was the main dad. Yeah, 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 he was a stud. Yeah. All right, moving on. We're getting into the nitty gritties. Nitty gritties. Relationship conversation. Here we go. Talk about let's, chicks. Let's a little dive bit. deep a little <laughs> let's bit. Dive deep, let's man. go for it. <laughs> All right, here's your first one. What do you think is your biggest flaw in relationships? Well, here is uh, here's the biggest. I've never been in an actual relationship. Mm. I've never had a girlfriend. Ever, ever? Ever. Dang. Not an actual girlfriend. Um, What's the closest you've gotten? <sighs> Going on a few dates, and then it just didn't quite click. Dang. And then, yeah, but never actually, like, yeah. Have you, was there ever a point where you're like, no, nah, I don't really want a relationship? Or was it just kind of like, ah, eh, it just hasn't happened yet? I am not rushing into anything. Yeah. And so I was probably I mostly like, <laughs> 24 years old, man. Yeah. I just don't want to push good. it. Exactly. <laughs> I can wait another couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, yeah, I, 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 it just hasn't been the right time. And I'm completely, life is great the way it is. There you go. And I just, I don't know. It just hasn't been, haven't found the right person. I feel like if I found someone that like absolutely blew me away, then it would be like, all right, I'll hop on that right now. Yeah. Let's get it done. <laughs> Lock you up. <laughs> but uh, just right now, I haven't, haven't, haven't got that far. So. And you got sisters? Two. Are they married? Uh, no. Neither? No. Wow. Older one is just a year older. Okay. And the other one is a year younger. Either dating? No, I don't know. So your parents had three kids in three years? Uh, no, I guess it was 96, September 96, October 98. 98. Yeah. So I guess that's two years. Two years. And then... Oh, but one grade. True. And yeah. then 2000, which I guess that's another two Another years. two years, but one grade. But that was April of 2000. Oh, okay. Okay, so makes sense. So it's a year and a half. So are you so. old for your grade then? Mm, or she... Quick math. Uh, what's, your, no. what's your birthday month? October. Oh, no, you're pretty... Yeah, yeah like no. normal, Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, pretty normal. Interesting. So in the next... Let's say in the next year, could you see yourself dating somebody? 100%. So you want to date. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you're ready to go. <laughs> 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 you guys uh, heard him. He's anybody. single, ready to mingle. <laughs> Do you have a type? Um, Not really, no. Really? It's just, yeah. I mean, if you're cool... Hot. And it, that's a plus. <laughs> yeah. Usually a plus. Yeah, you're a woman. Uh, yeah. good. That's a huge plus. It's almost a non-negotiable for Josh. <laughs> yeah, almost. Very much so. <laughs> All right. Here's your next question. Did you ever have a crush on a teacher? Um, No, but I definitely, I loved one of my teachers. Who was it? My fourth grade teacher. Uh, Mrs. Qualtruck? Mrs. Neeson. My Mrs. Mom. Neeson. I love my mom. Yeah. I love my mom. Did you have her? I did. Okay, yeah, that's funny. Because she was she was an available teacher. Was she? Was she the teacher when I was with Mayor? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. She would have been the other other teacher. Yeah, I didn't have her, but no. I heard good things. Yeah. Was it weird having your mom as a teacher? I mean, it's kind of a little bit. It's like uh Mrs. Ne mom? What would you call her? Mom. Yeah, I would call her mom. <laughs> I mean, especially like, after like the first couple of weeks. 100%, yeah. Mom. Yeah. But no, uh, actual crush on a teacher? No. I mean, they're definitely attractive teachers, but like... Albinson? 
Maybe. Smoke? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I never had her. Though. I had Mr. Skog. Yeah. Mr. Skog was cute, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good dude. He was awesome. He used uh, to always say when we'd run the mile, you know? Uh, yeah. Kids yeah. would be like jogging or walking or like complaining about a side yeah. ache. He'd always just say, the faster you run, the faster you're done. That's right, yeah, dude. dude. That's a blast, yeah. dude. And then blast he'd always show us like ways to strengthen your neck because he was a wrestling coach, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, you got to get on the end of your bed and. Do these, these little, hundred of these little, every night? Yeah. You only get the L. Yeah. Get rid of that neck pain. Yeah. Crushes on teachers. Gotta love it. Yeah. All right, here's your next one. Would you rather win in your fantasy league this year or find a girlfriend? I mean, I'm time is ticking for me. For fantasy? Both. We are in week seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I don't know. I do get disappointed often by my fantasy team. <laughs> yeah. So that that's that's a struggle. They're like <laughs> I love it. But man, I mean, basically, I get how much would I win if I won a fantasy league? Like, let's say the pop is three hundred bucks. Win fantasy it's, it's or find to, find a girl? No, I I I'd, I'd rather find a girlfriend. Really? Yeah, I think Props so. Props to you. Yeah, I think at where I'm at right now, I might take the fantasy win. Really? Yeah, I really you need that three hundred bucks. Pretty bad. No, not the money. <laughs> just the bragging rights. No, that is that is. I'm special. in a league with like sixteen guys. Do you have a punishment? Not, I mean, kind of. So the top eight guys go in one league, yeah. and then the bottom eight guys go in another league for next year. Oh, so you get demoted. So, yeah. So there's like a championship league and a relegation league. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Relegation, yeah, yeah. relegation yeah, podcast. Sense. Yep. Yeah. So I'm probably taking fantasy, but I would like a girlfriend as well. Like that. I be mean, cool. your bragging rights are pretty huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Massive. I don't know. <laughs> are you in last place if you take a girlfriend? Um. Because that that I mean that weighs into it. Would you a take bit. second and a girlfriend over first and no? Girlfriend, second place second is almost league. worse. I mean, you, I mean, you still get money, don't you? I mean, in my league, <laughs> you're really focused money. on the cash. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would Maybe. probably. You might have convinced me. I might take second place in a girl, I mean, or like, can I take third? I'd rather have third than second. Your first loser, yeah, losing the championship is oh, heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's you work and you all... still get your money back. Yeah, money again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah money straight back to cash. Uh, I'm taking third in a girl over third first, over but girl. I'm taking first over third in a girl. If that makes sense. No, that that place. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I'm different. I still take your girlfriend either way. But yeah, cheers, we'll find you one. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe in next season it'll just be all focused on like finding Josh a girl. Oh, now that's an idea. A little bachelor, <laughs> a little bachelor, bachelor season. Yeah, we'll give you a couple roses to hand out to there the lady folk. There we go. <laughs> all right, here's your next question: Is it a non-negotiable to find a girl who has a faith? Yes, it is. Yes, I answer that. Yeah, that's I'm confident in that. I feel like if if you're if you're if you're not if you don't have a faith, like what even is the purpose of of life? You mm-hmm. know, I feel like you don't believe in God or something that it just I mean there's nothing better than having a relationship with it, God. So. For sure. Have you ever dated a girl who wasn't a Christian? Well, I haven't dated anybody. Oh yet, yeah, right. But have you ever taken a girl out on I a date? have not, no. I they've have all not. been Yes, they've all had yes. That's good. A faith, yeah. I bet your parents so. appreciate that too. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know it's so. for you, but yeah, I know your parents are like on that on, on that, that path. Vi- yeah, yeah, exactly. On that vibe. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, definitely. I think it's tougher the older you get and the farther our generation gets away from it, though. True. Because like, especially in AZ, a lot of those girls would say they were, but they're Man, not they actually. Act like it. Or yeah. like, I mean, I, even I was in that situation for time in college where I was like, yeah, I'm a Christian, but I wasn't living Dude, out my living faith out like in any sense. Yeah. And I think that is. There's a lot of people in college who kind of do that for a while, 100, percent and then have to, you know, they figure out if they, lo- yeah, right. either if they, they come back or they don't. Something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. It's kind of, I think, end of college is that splitting point where you have to really make a decision. Make a decision because either you do come back to it or it's just gone forever. Yeah. at that point. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Next question: What would be your dream honeymoon destination? Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, hot take. I think going to like. Mexico is just lame because I feel like every, oh, yeah. everyone does that. Yeah, a lot of people go south. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that was <laughs> weird thing to say. Uh, it's fine. No, I, 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 um, I would probably like to go to. I mean, I've never actually been out of the country, so I'd, I'd go anywhere. But uh, oh yeah, uh, I feel like Europe. I would love to go traveling from like country to country in Europe. So like and just exploring. Yeah, like England to uh, Scotland to yeah. Ireland. Like do like Italy, a, yeah. Switzerland. Oh yeah. Germany. Those places. Yeah. Take like a two week trip and just yeah, bounce around. 
balling for yeah. like two weeks. Yeah, yes. heck yeah. That would be, I would, I would really like that. And there's actually, I don't know who it was, but there was someone who was looking for a honeymoon recently and they landed on apparently like Croatia. Oh. Is like pretty affordable. Interesting. And they do like a. Is that near Romania? Croatia? Mm, somewhere over there. I have no idea. And there was, anyways, they had like these boat tour things, like all inclusive uh, boat things. Like when you, Get there. I mean, obviously the tickets are flying or expensive. Yeah, like right. Two grand, but like. But then once you get there, once you're there, it's like another fifteen hundred dollars, and you got a whole week paid for. Wow. So not too bad. It's like right to the east of Venice and like Italy. Oh yeah. So it's like the boot, and then Croatia is yep. like right here, like on Across the other side of the, of the. Is that Mediterranean? The water Adriatic Sea. Oh, I guess. I don't Adriatic know. Sea. Yeah. Are you good with geography stuff? A little. A little bit. What was the subject you excelled at? We were talking about this earlier, um, but it wasn't. I was going to say geography. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> Croatia is a tough one, though. I don't blame you on that one. Yeah. But yeah, that'd be fun, dude. Like a an England trip for two weeks with yeah. your newlywed. Newlywed, yeah. And just kind of like bounce around. And, and if you're out. not looking to do the Mexico trip. Exactly. I mean, that's probably the next best thing to a Mexico trip for anybody. That's true. Is like yeah. going to Italy. Yeah, some fine, fine, fine dining, fine dining. Yeah. kind of see. I feel like there's like a lot of pretty sights there. Yeah, a lot of old places that like, yeah. like remain. Like, yeah, yeah. We went the, to uh, we went to Italy. Was that a year ago? Yeah, about a year ago now. Like, well, yeah, and we we went to like a ton of cathedrals and like yeah, you're going yeah, to like exactly. town squares yep. and stuff. And they're hopping, but they're fun, dude. Mm -hmm. Really yeah, fun. I would love to do that. Yeah, I think you'd enjoy it. Next question. Last question for relationships. Have you ever tried to kiss someone and they turned you down? <laughs> Yes. Me too. <laughs> I mean, I feel like everyone has at some yeah. point in their life. You ain't trying. I mean. Do you have a story behind it? <laughs> yeah, was it Mr. Skull? <laughs> uh, no, it was not. It was not a dude. Um, it wasn't anything special. I mean, it was just like normal. Like we were talking and the classic just kind of go in there Lean. and she just kind of like leans Lean back. back. It's like, like oh, righty. Oh, I don't know. Just yeah. Stretching Can't my neck, you know. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> but no, there wasn't anything super special about it or like something super crazy funny. But it was just, yeah, a little awkward in the moment. And then it's just like, Oh well, it is what it we'll is. We'll move on. That's we'll what get, we'll get over it. In the moment, you're kind of like, "What? Why?" Yeah. yeah but it's then like, come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. But so. then after it's over, like what happened with me is, I walked her to the door. We would hung out. This was like our third date. Yeah. I walked her to the door, and she was waiting for me at the door. So I was like, "Oh, this is prime I'm time." Smooching this yeah, chick for like, sure. So then I gave her a hug, leaned yeah. in, and she was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> I was oh, like, "Put the hand up and everything on my chest." Oh, yeah. She was like, yeah. "Whoa." I was like, uh, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. like, uh, and she was I like, feel it? I think she said something like, this is only like the third time we've hung out. And I was like, exactly. Yeah, I'm going for a kiss. Dog. Exactly. Like, like, was it like a 12th date kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is your timeline? What's here? your timeline? And then she's like, but I'll be back soon for sure. And I was like, like yeah, okay. That's she you left will. and I was like, I'll never see her. No, <laughs> no, she's gone. You're done. Yeah. You're done. Shout That's out. Funny. You know who you are. You're not watching, but what's up? <laughs> 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 All right. Let's take a, let's take a quick break. All right, we're back. There we go. We're back. Woo -woo. Next thing we're going to do, hot takes. Hot takes. So we're going to list out a couple things that, that you know we believe in that presumably mm. nobody else does. Or that it's... A very small amount yeah, of people. Small yeah, small margin of people might yeah. agree with us. I've been getting a, a little bit of backlash on TikTok for some of mine. Oh, really? Yeah, like a couple more. Like if I say like 21 Savage is trash. Like this oh, vi that yeah, video didn't blow up, but like videos like that. People are... People are just like... You're an idiot. No. Like, yeah, what are you talking what's about? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, it's literally the point. It's hot takes. Like, I want this interaction. Yep. All right. I'll go first for hot takes. All right. Go for it. My first one, stay in hometown, Minnesota. Yep. The Timberwolves will win a championship before the Vikings do. <laughs> wow. I mean, last year, I probably would have disagreed with you. Most people would. But uh, now it's like. Well, the Vikes aren't winning this year. But they could. <laughs> I mean, that's what I mean. I know, I know. See, that's the problem. That's the, that's exactly the problem. It's like we are so. Oh, me, me maybe. No, the rest of no, fans not are. you. Yeah, Vikings fans <laughs> are, are way too homers. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, we're like sitting what two and five right now? Yeah, uh, two and two and four. Two and four. Two and four. Two and four. Yep. Two and four. Week, and people are like, seven. you know, we could still make a run. <laughs> Dude, we could just win out. We'll have the same record as last year. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, ah, probably not. <laughs> probably it's so not. funny. Talking to Minnesota people or like at the beginning of the season, it's just like, name your sport. Wild, Timberwolves, exactly. Vikings. Everybody's like, 
This is our year. This is the year. <laughs> this is the year. This is the year. Everything is in place. Exactly. We picked up five guys in the draft for our defense. Exactly. Defense still sucks. It's always going to suck. Yeah, dude. I don't it's know. just, oh, it's so crazy to me that. But I'm the same way. For the T Wolves, I'm like, Anthony dude, Edwards, man. He's the guy. He's the guy. Everybody outside of Minnesota is saying that he's going to be the future face of the NBA. Exactly. So uh, can't uh, can't we jump on that one? Exactly. Like draft a, draft a little bit of well, you know, the next couple of years. Yeah. And I don't know about that Rudy Gobert trade, but uh, yeah. at the time I liked it. Yeah. No, no lie. Like, when I saw yeah. it, I was like on the fence, but more so inclined to like. I mean, he's a two time all like defensive yeah, player of exactly. the year. He should be a beast for us. He just did not did <clears> not <throat> click last year. No, but he does. The funny thing is, he still fills the gaps that we need. Rebounding. Rebounding and, and defense. defense. Our defense sucks. Yeah. It uh, definitely helps out. Yeah, he does. Carl Anthony Towns. But the problem and, is he gets turnovers. He can't make every free throw somehow, even though which it's is ridiculous. He's right next to the hoop. He Literally, rolls he just, it off like, the backboard. Reach over. And yeah. Doesn't do it though. Drop it in. Yeah. Doesn't do that. So he's not a point getter, but you got guys like Anthony Edwards, who is. And, and Towns. Carl Towns. Definitely. Towns should be getting points. Exactly. A lot of people also don't, I feel like they just kind of don't remember like last season. Still had a pretty good season. True. Towns had like 30 games. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He so was it's injured. Like, yeah, so he didn't even play that much. And now everybody's like, nope, ship Towns, ship Gobert, restart, build around AD or Ant. And yeah. I'm like, dude. We Why? Got, we got a solid squad. We got a squad like, right All now. we need to do is just click. Yeah, what are we going to get for Gobert? Any more value? <sighs> not as, what we gave up. As expensive as he is, yeah. we're not getting the Never same back. No. no. We get like a Yusuf Nurkic who plays 40 games it's, a year. Exactly. But, yep, that's my know. first take. Timberwolves will win a championship before the Vikes do, and neither of them are going to be in my lifetime. <laughs> exactly. Way beyond <laughs> Yeah, way lifetime. past us. Way beyond our lifetime. All right, what's your first hot take? First hot take. Very probably uh, controversial, but uh, yeah. bullying is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a bully? Uh, no, 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 not at all. In fact, you were not a bully. I, I mean, I was, I was always, I feel like I was nice to everyone. You um, were a very nice kid. But I mean, I definitely, I don't, I don't, I don't think I got bullied either. Not like bullied, but you got teased. Yeah, definitely. So and I think I. that, like, I mean, I think the my point is that the world doesn't care about how you feel. Right. Like no one's gonna treat you the way. I mean, that's the golden rule: treat others, others the way you want to be treated. But nobody but does. Like that. that's just not how the life works. Right. So it's like. And with with that bullying, that you should whoever is getting bullied should have the right to respond however they see fit. Like if someone pisses you off, then you should be able to like fight them. I don't know. Yeah. Like true. Stand up for yourself. Yeah. Um, if somebody physically harms you, you should hundred percent have the right to fight back. Hundred yeah. percent. Yes. And I think uh, like bullying definitely kind of I don't know shapes you into. I mean, not the right person. I mean, for, if you're the, if you're the bully, like obviously don't do that. But like. For the people who's getting picked on, like stand up for yourself. Yep. And that'll kind of make you into make you into a stronger person for sure. In the future. Yeah. It'll and it'll set you up for success down the road. We don't have a whole bunch of these soft people just kind of in society that are, you know, yeah. Oh, you hurt my feelings. What we have right now. Exactly. Pretty much. Exactly. I do think that there is a, a There's correlation. There's a fine line though. There is a fine line. It's a tough it it's a tough subject to be like die hard on one side right. or the other. But I actually kind of agree with you in the, in the sense that like you more so, you just can't be soft. Right. You exactly. can't be soft because if we build up a generation of softies, exactly, we're screwed. Absolutely. We're so and screwed. We're getting so dang I'm not, close. Not advocating for bullying, <laughs> but bullying is a part of specifically high school. Yeah. That, it, I mean, it's, you know, it's, you just gotta, gotta go through you gotta it. You gotta get through it. I mean, yeah. Exactly. I hate to say it. I feel weird saying it. It is weird because it's very taboo. But, I mean, no one wants like, to like, no. condone bullying, but right. like, It'd be better Might. with no bullying, right? But because there is going to be bullying, the right approach to getting bullied is bouncing back, yeah. or yeah. you know, try to try to get more creative with your responses, yeah, exactly. or if it gets physical, fight back, exactly. You know, whatever. I remember when I was I was four years younger than my brother, mm -hmm. and if I said anything that wasn't funny around them, yeah, they were so quick to exactly. tell me that it was not funny and at all. They'll rip you to shreds. They would exactly. rip you to shreds. They were exactly. like, "That wasn't funny." It's like, oh, "Nice oh, one, great. dude. Nice one." I'll like, go back to my room and right. think of a better response <laughs> yeah. next time. Go back out. I was like, "Uh." Wieners. <laughs> like, See, that's good. That was good. <laughs> You're learning. Yeah. yeah, right. No, I got uh, I got picked on all the time. Yeah. It just didn't I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm here for it. Yeah, I, I agree. Bully away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, within reason. <laughs> within reason, of course. Uh, all right. My next one. We're getting a little political. Yeah, a little bit. The, the electoral process is a complete fraud. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. I don't. So you know how everybody says like, you still got to vote. Your vote matters. Yes. I believe that. Yes. But I also don't believe that. Okay. Because I think whoever is in charge of all this crap, mm -hmm. they know who is the president before people start even voting. Really? I do. Really? Okay. Might be a little conspiracy theory-ish. But put I your think, tinfoil hat on? Yeah. Put my tinfoil hat on. Um, I think, I just think the outcome is already determined. It just feels like the outcome is already determined because you hear about all this like voter fraud on Trump's side, voter you fraud on, on Biden's Biden side. side. People are hiding votes. People are submitting more votes. It's nope. like... At this point, if we don't already have a system to control like fraud in yeah. the voting system, yeah. then why do we have any expectation that in 2024 it's going to change? It's going to be any different. It's exactly. going to be worse. Yeah. People are realizing like, oh my gosh, all those people just got away with it. Mm -hmm. There was no repercussions for them. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't we just do it too? I think it'd be easy to fix that. I mean, you just tighten up the rules a little bit. Yep. You have one single day to vote. It should be a national holiday. Yep, exactly. And Everybody gets work off. You can't know none of these mail in. You've got to be in person yep. to vote. If you yep. miss that day, that's your own fault. Like, yep. It doesn't matter. Yep. But like, I think doing paper ballots, not sending them in via mail, not doing, uh, abs what do they call Absentee ballots? Absentee ballots. Out of, out yep. of state or whatever. Yep. You got to show up in person, show your ID, ID yep. that you're a citizen of the yep. United States, and right. then cast your vote. Yeah, and that's boom. that's that's the dumbest argument to me. Is what is the why argument? Is that not already the why thing? is the argument that you shouldn't need your ID? <laughs> right? Who doesn't have an ID over eighteen? People who are legal. Yeah, I mean exactly. But that's like, why are you advocating for somebody who's it not actually a citizen of the country? Because no then, like, I guess the argument was like, well, some inner cities that are poor. You know, like people in inner cities, whatever, they might not have availability mm -hmm. to get an ID. It's like, mm -hmm. really? There's not DMVs also, downtown? Exactly. Or maybe, it, why can't, well, I mean, maybe this is too hard, but like, isn't there like a, some sort of database? You could just check, fact check. Yeah. Here's your name, date of birth. Yep. What, uh, I'll type it in here. Oh, you are actually a yeah, registered citizen. Yeah, you were citizen. born in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. All right, you, you don't have an ID, but you can still vote because like, yeah. I just proved that I'm, you're I'm here legal. for that too. Right. Just prove that you're a legal citizen of the country. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, everybody should have a right to vote, mm -hmm. but it should be one day a year. One day a year. Everybody gets work off. Yep. Everybody National floods holiday. the polls. Exactly. You get them all in you're person. You're waiting in line for four, five, five hours. Yeah, <laughs> by, the end, by the end of the day, though, we should have an answer on and who's the, the president. Clock hits midnight. Yeah. Now, all votes are done. I hate the stuff that's like, oh, yeah, Trump won in Arizona. Which I'm not advocating for you, the president. I'm saying right. I'm filling in the space. Yep. Trump wins in Arizona. You wake up the next morning. Never mind. There's 160,000 votes that came just in for came Biden. In. It's like what? what? Where is the disconnect? Yeah, How and there wasn't a happen? single one for Trump in there. Exactly. You just right. found exactly. a pile of Biden votes. <laughs> like get out of town. That's what it seems like. Yeah, dude. So I think it's a fraud. I think I think you should still vote, even though that's like contradicting what I'm yeah. saying. Still go out and vote. But goodness sakes, I don't buy it. Be a responsible citizen. Be a responsible citizen and and bully. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man. All right. What's your next what, one? Let's see here. Well, um, let's see here. The government should have nothing to do with secondary education. Mm, like high school? No, college. Oh, college. So I think that high school should be like government can be involved. We've got to give them, subsidize them, give them money, whatever. But for college, no help. Whatsoever. If you want to go to college. Oh, you're saying financially. Yes. You, there should you be, gotta pay for it. Exactly. There should be no loans, no funding to schools, blah, 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 blah. No loans either. Yeah, exactly. If you're gonna decide to go to college, do it on your own, repay it on your own. Yeah. All of that. I think it gets too messy. And I think it will promote people going to the trades more. Mm, and that is kind of an uh, area that we need. Yeah. I mean, it's a dying thing. I mean, when we, we were going through high school and we had our um uh, our college, uh, like business you know I mean? career day kind of thing. Yeah. Or like we had a person who was kind of preparing us for, um, college. Yeah. Never thought that, I mean, it wasn't popular either, but never thought trades was an option. Oh, you're I talking think, about like a guidance counselor. Yeah. 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 yeah, like, yeah. That, I didn't really know that was like a thing. Uh. And I think maybe, I mean, after going through four years, I think it was a, uh, um, an episode you had passed, like maybe call it, Someone was talking about college isn't necessary or they didn't think they needed to go to college to do yeah. the job they didn't. Yeah. And I feel the exact same way. Like yeah. I, I, the job I applied for wouldn't even get even looked at if you had, if you didn't have a bachelor's degree. Right. You thought that that's how it was like going to play out if you got, if you didn't go to college, that's. You, you wouldn't get a job. But like I, I started and I'm like, I did not need a degree to do any of this. Right. What do you do now? Uh, I'm a, I'm a broker for a logistics company mm. working supply chain. So you didn't need like, a college education for that? I did. Oh. They required it in order to get even looked at. Yeah. But now that I'm doing my job, I'm like, I didn't need that education. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you require it? Right. 
I could have learned this year out of high school and I would have just known, I would have known more because I would have worked there longer. That is the cool thing about trade school is it's so specialized. Mm -hmm. It's like, if I want to be an engineer, I'm not going to walk into a class one day and they're like, all right, what happened in the year 1928? Exactly. It's like, I don't, I don't need to know, know that. Exactly. You know, it, it's information that we probably should know, but that's also not really your job to tell me what information I need to know. Exactly. Like, you know? teach me how to yep. hammer a nail into a, in a wood. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> teach for me. construction. Yeah. <laughs> or like electrical work or, or yeah, plumbing welding. or exactly. yeah, welding, anything like that. It's like, we should be promoting that more. Even it, I'm not like a diehard Ben Shapiro guy, but one of the things that he does say is like, Outside of the Ivy League schools, right. all colleges are the exact same, and it's a waste of money. I mean, they're pretty, yeah. He's kind of spot on. Yeah. I went to GCU, mm -hmm. absolutely loved it. Yep. Wouldn't wouldn't take it back. because I, I mean, there were some of the best four years of my life. Yeah. I, I got a, gained a lot of friends, yep. a lot of connections. Socially, it was amazing. Yeah. I wouldn't have got that if I did not go to college. There are definitely benefits. But, I did don't it, know. Did it build you up to where you're at in your career right now? <sighs> no. Not really. I went to GCU for four years. I got a screenwriting degree. Mm -hmm. I worked for an insurance company out of college, mm -hmm. and now I do podcasting. Yeah, what it's did like, I need that four years? No, of watching nineteen ten silent films right, and exactly. analyzing why he was stroking his mustache. No, hey, here's the here's devil's advocate. Would you have gotten to the same point you are now if you would have skipped that part of your life? Like, would you have had the idea? Oh, I I would like to go into podcasting. Yeah, I would have had the same not, idea. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't have had the same guests. But yeah, I didn't. I see. I didn't realize I loved podcasting until after I was out of college already. Okay. Yeah. So I I already knew I had a, like a, a knack for or like a desire to get into film or something like that mm -hmm. because in high school I was doing videos. Right. I knew going into college I was like I love videos I'm going to go into video right. you know major. Mm -hmm. So if you take college out of the equation, and I was just like, well I don't I don't need to do college for video. Right. I would have just. Done video. And I'm done with doing it anyways. And, and you would be farther along too, because you would have started would, earlier. Yeah, I would be way farther along actually. So because I would have had four years to not kind of exactly yeah, not dick around. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Crack the whip a little bit. Yeah, right. All right. Uh, uh my last hot take. Spotify is way better than Apple Music. I actually wholeheartedly agree with that. Really? I'm a Spotify guy through and through. So am I, and I've I've had both. I okay. Think, I think I've never had Apple Music. And the funny example that I was thinking of is I was like, well, Spotify is like the Apple product, and then Apple Music is like the Android. But that's funny because oh, Apple Music is, is Apple. Apple. Yeah. It's like it is the Apple product. I just think Spotify has a better interface. I think it's easier Agreed. to navigate through if I'm yeah. looking for something specific. Yeah. I just remember on Apple Music, it felt like I had to be so specific on what I was typing in or my the stuff that I was looking for wouldn't come up. And you really? Yeah, I, but this was a long time ago. This was like five years yeah. ago. Yeah, I've never used it. Always been a Spotify guy. I feel like it's been more popular i could be wrong i think at it's, least where i've been it's been more popular but the, the biggest thing for me yeah was podcasts podcasts are on the spotify app uh where i believe i could be wrong I've it's never not used, on apple music i think it's on apple, apple podcast you have yeah. to have two separate apps yeah and it's like i got two in one versus having two separate apps and i know at least for some podcasts you can actually i mean uh for joe rogan you can actually watch the podcast yeah on Spotify, Spotify, which is dope. Yeah, and I don't think you could do that. I mean, correct me if I think, I'm wrong. No, I, I think you're think right you because I think he, I think he Apple signed a hundred million dollar deal with Spotify to have that because right. he's not even on YouTube anymore. No, no, he's not. He's like strictly on Spotify. So if you want to watch Joe Rogan, you got to watch it on Spotify. Right. So this says Spotify offers a free tier option as well as popular music sharing experience. Apple Music was once the leader in all things digital music, but is currently behind Spotify with more than 98 million users worldwide. Wow. And to keep it in perspective. 98 million people are using Spotify. Yeah. There's over a billion people on TikTok. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? That is nuts. That's not even, I don't even know what the percentage of that is, but. Like, it's like a seventh of the world. Wow. Including third world countries. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy to think of. Yeah. That's wild. Wow. Shout out Spotify. Shout out TikTok. Yeah. Get us a deal. If either of you guys want to sponsor deal. the episode, even Apple Music, even though we kind of just shit on you <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take anything we get. Yeah, please. Uh, we love you guys. All right, what's your last hot take? My last one. Again, highly controversial, I think. Let's go. All right, so our next segment, actually our mystery segment. I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to play a game called Immaculate Grid. Oh, heck yeah, dude. You know Let's game? do it. Yes, I grinded this game. <laughs> Did you? Yes. So the reason that I uh, brought this up is because I called Levi, who's your roommate. roommate now, yep. Um, and he was, I think he was episode 17, something like that. Way back. Yeah. I'll pull up the clickbait for you guys so you know which episode, but 
I called Levi today and I was like, yo, what's what's a subject matter that Neeson's really good at? Yeah. And he was like, anything baseball, anything sports, yep. he knows all that stuff. Yep. So then I was like, all right, bet. And he was like, actually, what you should do is you should play Immaculate Grid with him. Dude, because we used yes. to do this like every night for like three Literally, months. Literally, yes. Yeah. Come home, all four of us grinding on really? Immaculate Grid. Yes, That's exactly. fun. Who, who would you get for this guy? Oh, I got, I beat you. I got a better one. Oh, so everybody would do the same grid? Hey, everyone do the same grid. Oh. And then someone will be like, pull like randos. Yeah. Like Ben Revere. It's oh. like, I didn't even know. Yeah. He exactly. <laughs> didn't even know he played for whatever. Exactly. That's fun. All right. So I'll take a screenshot for you guys too, just so that you can see the grid that we start with. And then we'll fill it out as we go. And then uh, we'll show you the finished product at the end. Deal. Let's so go. I got that saved away. All right. Now I'll show you. All right, so Who we got? as okay. you guys can see as well, we got the Twins on top with the San Diego Padres and, and MVP, MVP category. And then on the left, we have the Boston Red Sox, um, Chicago White Sox, and the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore Orioles. So yep. essentially what you have to do is in each grid, you have to pick a player who you're assuming that most people aren't going to pick. Right, but played for both teams. Yeah, so like in the top left corner, you have to pick somebody who played for the Red Sox and the Twins. And the Twins at but, some point in their career. Yeah, but you're hoping that you're picking a guy who is least likely to get picked. Yeah, exactly. Right. So sleepers. Yeah. Immediately, Twins legend comes up comes to mind. Rob Ref Snyder. Rob Ref Snyder. Rob I Ref don't Snyder. even know who that is. Played for like one year. Really? There he is. 2015 to 2023, he played Locked for the Twins for a year? In. Yes, he did. What did we get? 0.9%. 0.9%. Of people Lock picked Rob. In. That was a great guess. All right. Uh, Red Sox, San Diego Padres. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Immediately, if first person comes to mind, might be a little too obvious. See if you can think of anybody else. Uh, current shortstop for the San Diego Padres would be Xander Bogarts. Did he play for the Red Sox? Oh, yeah. Long time. Long oh. time. Uh, oh, he, he played was... his majority of his career. So most people are going to pick that one. It's probably going to be... 70 plus percent really so do you <laughs> want that one um, or do you want to move on to boston mvp let's go boston mvp but that's also going to be that's I, okay that one's going to be tough regardless though because how there's many there's so many um there are a lot of mvps that have come out of boston I, yeah i believe so um let's lock in uh pretty sure jd martinez was uh i know i i know for a fact mookie Betts was. i'm pretty sure jd martinez was which one would you rather go with which one are you more confident in? I mean, I know I know for a fact Mookie Betts did. So would you rather do Mookie? I kind of want to risk it. I don't know. Well, we might get eight. <laughs> what happens if you pick a name that's not right? Uh, the comments are going to roast me. <laughs> <laughs> if you select it, though, do you get another try? No, you lose it. And the best you can do is eight out of nine for okay. the grid. So JD, or do you want to go? Let's lock in JD Martinez. Not an MVP. Did I pick the wrong name? No. Oh, okay. Not Wait, an MVP. What year does he play? Oops. Um, it was... Did you pick the... I don't think there was another JD. 2011 to 2023? Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, it, uh, <sighs> comments go crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's, Who was that's, the one you were thinking? Mookie Betts? Yeah, Mookie Betts. 100% obvious. But you don't want to pick that let's one Let's not now. waste it. Let's, no. let's move on. We'll do Xander Bogarts because we missed one. That's bad. It's all right. Still doing way better than I would. Oops. It's... Uh, this Xander guy right there. Right here? Yeah. Was that thirty four percent? So pretty good. Better than I thought. Yeah, we'll 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 dial it in right here. White Sox Twins. Um, Frank Thomas would be the pick, but that's an obvious one. I feel I like. Think, no, you haven't played for the Twins. Um, you've been. I mean, he be MVP. Didn't he start with us? No, that's Ortiz. 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 That's Ortiz. Ortiz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's lock in Liam Hendricks. Ooh, the Aussie, Australian beer. Cheers. The Aussie reliever. All right, Twins and Orioles. Um, twins legend, uh, second baseman played one, two years. I think it was two. Jonathan Scope. Scope. Yeah, lock him in. Oops, how do you spell Scope? Uh, S C H O O P from Curacao. Jonathan uh, Shoop. Shoop. <laughs> Shoop. What was that five percent? Bang! Dang! Lock that in. If only we had that. Mookie Betts safe pick. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Who's, five five. who's a White Sox MVP? Uh, Frank Thomas. Easy. Yep. That's going to be obvious. That one's going to be a fatty. Mm, you yeah, think a lot just, of people just, are picking that one? Yeah. But lock it in. Lock it in. 
69 percent. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many White Sox MVPs they've been. Yeah, are. true. I'm trying to think of a pitcher, uh, they had a couple good pitchers, didn't they? White Sox, like a long, like uh, uh, not a long time ago, but like recently. 2000, like I'm thinking like 2005. Cease, Ron R- Rodon, um, James Arroyo? Shields, Bronson Arroyo. Wasn't he a White Sox? I don't. I know he played for the Reds. Um, uh, dude, I seriously know nothing about baseball. I'm pretty much just throwing out the names oh, that I know. I just said James Shields. Uh, lock him in for he played for the Padres. Padres and White Sox. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Is that, to remind is that me like pitchers. Shields? Yeah, Shields. Yeah, like a shield. Knight in shining armor. Shield. <sighs> shields. What? Where is James, it? James Shields. Top. Oh yeah. Yeah. Locked in twenty six percent. Yeah. Well, we got a good score going right yeah, now. Not bad. I mean that 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 miss is definitely gonna hurt us. But really. Yeah. Um, Orioles, San Diego. Oh, another twin. The greatest DH Wait, where's in twin? recent history. Oh, he's a twin. No, I'm just saying he was a former twin. But he played for the he Orioles. He played for both teams. All right. Nelson Cruz. Oh, Cruz man. Oh, yeah. We love Cruz. Yes, we do. 7% for that spot. Oh, lock that in. We're baby. doing pretty good right now. Our biggest is 69%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jokes. Give um, me an Orioles MVP. We're going to go with... Um, Stahata? Uh... Ever an MVP? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, what was it when they had like a stud second baseman and shortstop, but they were old? Are you it was like Tejada and somebody. Uh, the guy I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure he played third base. Why can't I think of his name? Chipper Jones. Yes. It Was he at Oriole? Yeah. Oh, nice. I was kidding. <laughs> I was like, just the first third baseman Wait, no, I can no, think no, of. No, no, no. That's Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking Atlanta. Yeah. I'm thinking Atlanta. I get Atlanta these food. two. I don't know why I get these two players mixed up. Um, why can't I think his name? Coco Crisp. Nope. He has a he has a baseball league after him. Um, a baseball league or a park? It's like a little league named after him. He's an Orioles player. Yes. Cal Ripken Jr. There it is, baby. Let's go. Look at Jack saying. Look at me. that. Look at Jack Look at saying. That. Me. Boom. Three hundred two. That uh, could Three, be a lot better. Three hundred two is pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ideally, you like to be under hundred, but oh. I mean, hey, that that miss definitely hurt us. All right, well, we'll show this. We'll show the the grid roast, success. Roast us or me in the comments, and then I'll take it. wasn't a- wasn't my greatest performance, but <sighs> hey, hey, it's tough when you're on the spot on a time it is, limit. It is tough, and I was poking him with a stick under the table. You it's guys like couldn't it. see it. Get after like, faster, faster, <laughs> mush. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, good work. Thanks. I kind of want to play that more, but it is fun. And now they got uh, you'd be pretty good at basketball, wouldn't you? Yeah, should we do a quick basketball one. Scroll, yeah, scroll to the top. Let's let's grind together on a basketball. Uh, let's do a basketball, or one you do quick. NFL too. That's kind of tough though, because there's so many players. All right, let's do. Oh, WNBA. WNBA. No one knows anything so about the WNBA. Tough. <laughs> or soccer. We might have to cut this out, but I want to do it. All right, so that was Immaculate Grid. We ended up doing a basketball one, too. It was very fun, very, very enjoyable. Very, very fun. We, we got 162, 162, which is not bad. A lot but better. You want to be under 100. Yeah, probably. But our best pick was Michael Beasley playing for the Heat he, and the T-Wolves. Wolves. No, no, no. That wasn't. Bam out of bio. Bam out of bio. 20, 20, 20 points, points a game. game. Heat. 2%. 2%. 2%. Yeah. <laughs> Bang. Shut up, Bam. All right, next game we're going to play, it's called Two Truths and a Lie. Oh, yes. This is all baseball-focused. Oh, okay. So these are either baseball rules or baseball statistics, facts. Oh, all right. Super random. So you got to tell me which intrigued. one's not true. Okay. All right, all your right. first one is, the MLB team with the most Hall of Famers is the New York Yankees with 27. Nah, most Hall of Famers. Okay. Locked in? Yep. Your I second one is, the longest game ever played lasted 11 and a half hours. <sighs> It honestly might be longer. That's my initial reaction. Yeah. But I'll save that. Okay. And your last one is a labrum tear is one of the worst shoulder injuries for a pitcher. Worst injuries. One of the worst. One of the worst. One of. Obviously, the UCL <laughs> Tommy John surgery is pretty bad as well. Yeah, that's a bad one. But you said one of, so yep. they could be up there together. So which labrum. one are you confident in? I'll be honest. I don't even. I think your labrum is like your shoulder is not. Is yeah. That, or is you? Did you say that? Yeah. Is it worse? Labrum tear is one of the worst shoulder injuries shoulder for injury. a pitcher. Okay, okay. So yeah, that would be right. Um, Twenty-seven. I want to say that's that's got to be right. They've t- 
Hall of Famers. Most Hall of Famers is the New York Yankees with 27. Mm-hmm. Or the longest game ever played lasted 11 and a half hours. 11 and a half. Hmm. I'm going to go with the lie is the length of a baseball game. The longest baseball game. The longest game. baseball game? Yes. That is correct. It is correct. No, it's false. You're right. Oh, I am right. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah. That's right. The longest baseball game ever was like, which is funny because you thought it might have been longer. Oh, shorter. It was eight hours and six minutes. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That is funny. Okay. Well, in mm. in the 20. I was right, but I was wrong. 2021 season, I think the average length of a baseball game was like three hours and 37 minutes or something really? like that. Like, and now. And yeah. now it's like. Like two and a half. Two and a half. Because they did Pitch the. clock. Yeah, which yep. is genius. Really I know is. some guys don't love it. Like I real, came around to it. Real was, enthusiasts are mm-hmm. like, you're ruining the game or whatever. But it's like, dude, it's you can watch a game and it's not like dark right, outside by exactly, the end of the game. Yeah, exactly. Well, good work on that, man. Crushed it, baby. Crushed it, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Shout out Fosters and yeah. help me. <laughs> All right. Here's your last uh, last segment of the day. Play cute or cringe. Okay. It's kind of a staple. We do this every oh, yeah. episode. I'm going to give you a, a variable, um, a topic, anything. You're okay. going to tell me cute you like it or cringe you don't like you it. don't like it. Okay. Pretty easy. Yep. Here's your first one. Okay. Cute or cringe, potato salad. Ooh. Interesting. Um, I'm going to say cute. I love I, I love a good potato salad. Do, yeah. Yeah, I you, do. Not going to lie. <laughs> like we're at, a, we're at the, a potluck or yeah. a cookout. It's like throw a couple scoops of uh, potato salad on there. Oh, yeah. That's one that I'll probably avoid. Really? Not a big fan. I don't know if it's because the potatoes are cold mm-hmm. and I don't, I can't get past the fact that they're cold. There's also like, isn't there a, a, egg salad too? Is that I love similar? egg salad. You like egg salad, it's like, not potato salad. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, it's not a texture thing. Texture doesn't really bother me. I think it's literally the flavor. Interesting. It's just not that good to me. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm a big, I'm a big potato salad fan. Not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. You have a specific potato salad that you like the best? <sighs> I didn't know there were multiple kinds. I didn't either. <laughs> I just got to throw um, crap at the no, wall. No, I uh, just good old fashioned. Good old fashioned. Mama's, old fashioned. mama's exactly. homemade. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Cheers. I'll throw it on. Yeah. I'd say cringe, but. Interesting. Okay. Hey, this so is your split, this split is, decision. Yeah. This is your episode. Yeah, that's man. right. This yeah. is about you. <laughs> Not about me. All right. Here's your next one. Cuter cringe, D'Angelo Russell. Oh, um, I mean, five years ago, I was said cute, but yeah. now it's unfortunately, he's just. That's hard, hard no, cringe. Do you like him as a player still, even though he plays for somebody else? Because like the way I think about it is like, um, like an Adam Thielen, yeah. different sport, but like you root for Adam Thielen on Carolina still. You have to, yeah, of course. You a have hometown to. guy, yeah, exactly. Dope dude. It wasn't his decision to leave. Yes, you gotta love him. D'Angelo Russell, on the other hand, it's also like, not really his decision to leave. I don't think exactly, but, but it's different. I don't know. Things here just did not quite click no it didn't really work no so yeah i'm gonna say cringe and i just feel like he's been bouncing around he's just not yeah he's and not he, he's not a glue guy you know what i mean nah, like you yeah. want you like those glue guys that like i feel like adam thielen like he was locker room guy everyone loved the guy yep deandre russell's like sometimes you hear a couple bad things about him. right he's talking crap about somebody saying like, something oh, about wiggins I'm not, or I'm, something. Not, I'm not getting used properly yeah oh, uh, it's like dude just shut up all right, here's your next one. Cute or cringe? Legacy basketball. <laughs> uh, well, dude, I mean, when we were there, it was uh, it was tough. I mean, I don't know. I mean, shout out Legacy Try basketball. Try not to touch the mic at all. Oh, yeah. I'm just that kidding. Is, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was an something. inside joke. Uh, <laughs> he, was, he was on another I, I podcast got and got yelled at for touching the mic. Can't, can't wiggle around. I was around. like, dude, I touch the mic all, all the time. time. Like, moving yeah. around. Um, Legacy basketball. Shout out Legacy Basketball. That's that's uh, where I learned how to play. True, know? but um, is that, it bad if I say cringe? No, I was gonna say cringe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Legacy Basketball right now is not cringe to me. No, but when I think of Legacy Basketball, I think of when we were in high school, and that was <sighs> cringe to the extreme. Well, you weren't even around my senior year. My senior year was pretty cringe too. Yeah, I didn't even play the last game of my senior year. See, that's effed. Yeah, there was seven guys who played. He played. <laughs> Uh, shout out Lucas Nelson. Nothing against Lucas. It's Never made. All about the coach, really. Lucas Nelson, Austin Rothstein, Cole Birch, uh, Levi Kendall played for like three minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Stelly played the entire game. I'm sure. So really, you kind there of was like play. there was like you seven, helped him play. Yeah, of course. Uh, there was like seven guys who played, and then at the end of the season, JP's just said, 
Well, ah. gave it a valiant effort, boys. And I was like, like shut up. Dude, you never even gave me a shot. Um, shut up, JP Lindgren. Yeah. Well, dude, you my, ruined my basketball <laughs> career. I could have been in the pros, man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> dude, my senior year, we got the new coach. coach oh, yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. hear about this? No. You didn't. Okay. So we got a brand new coach my senior year. Yeah. JP left. Yeah. And Shocker. started, yeah, right. Started over brand new. He came in. We were, we weren't terrible. I think we ended the year like 500. Mm -hmm. Midway through the season, he just stopped showing up to practice. What? That's stopped worse. Show, stopped, That's way stopped worse. Stopped showing up to practice senior year. Yeah. And we, like, no idea. Like, didn't, the school didn't know what happened. Uh, like, literally just, Completely start disappearing, ghosting, literally ghosting. And apparently, like his, he had an excuse like months later that his like sister had like some sort of like medical issue or uh, like schizophrenia or, or multiple oh. personality disorder. Yeah. Um, and like she had like ran away. Some like really like so absurd of a story that it like it's almost like. Maybe you either have to be making that up, <laughs> or is that so absurd that it's so true? true yeah, but then it turns out he doesn't even have a sister, oh. so we're just like, that's just like, what <laughs> left midway through the season and never came back, didn't tell, didn't, and didn't tell the school he was leaving or anything, he just yeah. left and then hung us, hung us out to dry. What the Who assistant, coached? assistant coaches coached, um, remember, um, the young point guard. Uh, Skog plays plays at Bethel now. The young kid, uh, his dad helped coach. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. But I don't know his dad. Young guard. Yeah, I know who you're talking uh, about. I wouldn't have known him though, right? Uh, he was pretty young, right? Yeah, he was like sixth or seventh grade when I was a senior. And he played for the varsity team. Well, he practiced. He didn't uh, play. Gotcha. But his dad was the assistant coach. And, so and then he Charlie, uh, Charlie something was uh, was the other assistant. Was Hill coach. still coaching at the time, or was he uh, solely coach baseball? Hill, no, he was. He was still too young. That uh, he would have been just yeah, just because he just took over as, coach. He took over as the head baseball coach like a couple of years after yes, that. Now and then, yeah, now he's gone too. So he's gone completely. Yes. Now they have. Um, Oh, no, it is a Skog. No, Vota doesn't coach there. Shout out Coach Vota. No, right. But no, I'm saying for basketball. The baseball it. coach is now a uh, Skog. Oh, um, younger Dan. Dan Skog. Dan Skog? He also been... also assistant athletic director. Oh, okay, cool. Shout out Dan Skog. He's a he's a dope dude. Kurt Vota. Love Kurt Vota. Yeah, that's that a was blast. my man. I love Kurt. All right, here's the next one. Cuter cringe Twitter. Um. I'm a big Twitter fan. Are you? Or X, you mean X. X, X, apologies. <laughs> Formerly known as Twitter. Formerly known as Twitter. It's um, X. No, I, I... How long have you been on it? I've been on it for... Do, 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 few years. Not too long. Okay. Probably not... Uh, probably since college. Oh, okay. So not super long at all. Um, but... What's the appeal? I feel like that is whenever you need information first, it breaks there. Mm. So like for sports, if anything big news coming, it's happening first on Twitter and mm. then it gets kind of goes to Instagram. It goes to right. wherever it is just because people are direct. You have those Twitter reporters just are just like literally pull up your phone, tweet, boom. It, yeah. It's out there. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, it's less moderated so there's a lot of obviously negative sides to it too true i've but noticed that on instagram though as well lately it's just like every single instagram video if you go down in the comments if there's anything abnormal about the video or if it's not heartwarming if it's not like something that people apart bro every video and getting divided it's yeah. like yo what's up with that forehead or like why right. does this chick look like blank yeah. fill in the blank you yeah. know yep yeah. which is funny to an but extent, it's also like mm, you're getting a little to, negative. We though. don't need to go that far. And everybody's going to be discouraged from posting content at some 100%. point because it's just like I'm going to put this video out of my dog, and people are going to say it looks like, like Steve oh, Buscemi. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, you're not you're not treating your dog properly. Right, it's true. like, dude, it's my dog. Yeah, relax. Like, I, I mean, yeah. I can, I can I hit want. it if I want to. <laughs> 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 <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, your last cuter cringe to wrap up the episode. Yep, cuter cringe, Minnesota, as a state. Ooh. In there total. are a lot. Of, oof, that's a big question. A lot of variables. Right? Yeah. So you got to think weather. Yes. Politics. Yes. Sports. Yes. Family. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things go into a it. A lot of things. Yeah. Just the overall Minnesota. landscape. Yeah. 
Southern Minnesota. I mean, it's like you can eh. even break it down into categories like sport. Let's say Minnesota sports. Cute or cringe? Uh, we'll do rapid fire. Dude. I'm just gonna, I'm a homer. Cute. Yeah, cute. I love them. Love it. Family. Love it. Yes. Weather. Uh, uh, I, the, I, I'm dividing this because I I don't like winter, but I feel like if I was in like Arizona or Florida or Texas, you know, somewhere that didn't really have a true winter, yeah. I would miss uh, seeing snow. Interesting. So that's like a cute slash cringe. Yeah. Politics. Uh, cringe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that wraps up our episode. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in the same, I'm in the same boat as you. I'd say, um, some of the political stuff that has happened in Minnesota is very cringy to me. Yeah. I'll just be open about that. Some of the stuff that happened shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Take yes. it as you will. Right. Family. Cute. Love them. Yeah. Sports. Oh, yeah, it hurts to say it, but you gotta say cute. Yeah, you have to say cute. Exactly. But dude, every single team lets you down every single year without fail. Twins will let you down. Wild will let you down. Yep. Timberwolves will let you down, and yep. almost every single team yep. will let you down in the first round. Oh, hundred percent. Which is the toughest part. I'm shocked we made it out of the first uh, the wild card series this year for the Twins. Yeah, true. Yep. But and then felt good. Ah, uh, did feel good. That one I wasn't too upset about because it was almost a win just to get a win in the playoffs. Oh, we got there. Yeah, so exactly. once we got that win, I was like, can we really be upset mm -hmm. if we even lose here? Yep. But then we win. And it's like, all right, so you got the, the cherry on top of the cake now. What else is there left for us? Exactly. You beat the Astros. You made my year. And exactly. I'm not even a huge Twins fan. Exactly. But that was man, beautiful. Screw the Astros. Shout out the Twins. Hopefully the T-Wolves can do something this year. Vikings are done. Bank for... Or, uh, tank for tank Caleb. For Caleb. Yeah. But... Uh, even after hearing what you just said about him, he's kind of cringy. Yeah, true. I mean, paints his fingernails. That's no, good. Does he? Yeah, he does. I don't hate that actually. No, I got a little rock star side to myself. I don't uh, mind fingernails painted. I don't like um, dudes with any sort of facial piercings other than earrings. No nose nose piercing. Now cringy. Yeah. That's uh, specific guys can pull it off. I would say yeah. If you got it's a, a, it's if, a if specific, you, yeah. If you got a Tupac vibe to you, you can maybe pull off a right. nose. Stud, a little bandana off the Other side. Other than that, it's lame. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm an old piercing guy. Yeah, me too. But yeah. Minnesota as a whole, as a whole I would say I would say got cute. off topic a little I would bit. Say but cute. yes, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, shout out Minnesota. We love it. We love it. We're happy. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we appreciate you being here. That's it. That's it. That's the end of the podcast. Boom. Uh, make sure to follow, subscribe for more content. Like the video. Check us out on TikTok, Bird Watching Podcast, and check us out next Thursday. We'll be back for the last episode of season four. Be there, be square. Be there, be square. Boom. Peace. Cheers, buddy.